This ain't your put in, son. I always put in two guns against one. Hey, Bushwhack, you? That's right. You hit? They don't aim to kill me. They just figure I'll run scared and lead them back to camp. What are after? Uh, the money, I reckon. Money? I got money, son. Plenty of it. Don't let looks fool you. No, sir. enough. Better let me bandage that up. You look like the kind that would give a total stranger the shirt off your back. Well, the stranger needed that one. Ulysses Bowman here. I'm obliged to you. Yuma, Johnny Yuma. That can't be yarn mean anything. Sir? Are you a reb fighter, a reb lover, or just plain looking for a scrap? Your choice. You got some whiskey? No, sir. Don't drink, you mean? Sometimes. Ah, man's answer. <laughs> How tall are you, son? Tall enough, I reckon. Short for some things. Church going? When I pass one. Ain't too often, though, I guess. Ha! The Lord sends you, son. And that's a fact. You will do. Yes. Do? Yes. Hold up there. You see him? Hold this. The Lord's with us, son. Know what this is? Sure, that's a buffalo bone. No way to Sunday. This is 50 cents, Johnny. Well, now, you heard of fertilizer, ain't you? I pick them up, the government grinds them up. That your living? That's my living. <laughs> Felicity. How do you do? Speak up, girl. Speak up. How do? I thought maybe you was killed or something. <laughs> Not yet, by tarnation. This here yank chaser dished me up another try. And I aim to reward him, Felicity. You will in the cause. No, Pa. Listen, Reb. My Pa's got himself a... An obsession. 
A what? Oh, you'll see. Johnny? You know what I got in here? Gold. Two hundred dollars. We saved every penny and put it right in here. And it's all yours. Hi. This here's a hope chest, Johnny. And this here's my daughter, Felicity. Turn around, Felicity. Pa? Oh, no, I recognize she don't look like very much right now, but uh, she wasn't expecting to suit her. Was she, Felicity? Mr. Bowman, uh... Oh, but she's a good worker. Now, you just break her in right and she'll jump. Get the preacher. You get the key. Stop that! Well, now, what's wrong with him, Felicity? Same thing that was wrong with the one in Abilene, Pa, in Denver, and every place else. I don't know him. Mr. Bowman, you got yourself a fine-looking daughter. You don't have to buy her a husband. Do I understand you to say you're refusing? I just don't want to get married, that's all. I'm, I'm sorry. There's $200 in that chest there. Now, you saved my life and you I... You don't have to pay me, Mr. Bowman, unless you consider a good supper payment. I figure you'll need my horse to pull that wagon at the town. Then I'll be on my way. You're passing up a bargain. What's the matter with you? I just don't think anybody has the right to sell a human life. A man's a fool don't recognize a gift of thanks. Maybe that depends on who gives it. Die, ah, you're a fool, Reb. Get supper, girl. And comb your hair. He doesn't mean all those things. Oh, yes, he does. You don't know what it's like. He brags on the money and then some, some saddle trap shows up. Like me? Maybe I could talk some sense into him. That's right, Reb. You cotton up to him. He'll give you the money for sure and me to boot. I'm not interested in you, not one bit. Is that clear? Changing your mind, huh, Reb? No, sir. That's clear. Excuse me, I have to unsaddle. It's your diary, Felicity. Now, you can't say I ain't trying. Why didn't you just stop it for a while? You folks always fight like this? It's a miserable world when you have to buy the love of your kin, Reb. And maybe you ought to try another approach. Nobody is asking you to stay, Johnny Yuma. Look, Mr. Bowman, you folks need my horse to pull your wagon into town. Otherwise, I'd be just as happy to leave you flat. Well, you go. You go on and go. I made a mistake about you, Reb. I don't want you no part of my family. No time. Feelings mutual. Just sort of lost her way and uh, saw your fire and, uh, well, uh, it's a cold night, mister. Uh, mind if we share? There are other places to camp. Well, uh, that, uh, that don't sound too friendly. Maybe we got reason to be unfriendly. Come on in. There's plenty of room. Well, thank you, sir. Folks traveling alone out here? What's it to you? It's bad country. Fellow needs good friends in country like this. That's right. You fellas out of Bounty? Oh, no. No, afraid not. We're rough from the panhandle. Me and my partner here got lucky. They hit it lucky. Struck it rich. And struck it rich. Struck it rich. Got a big claim up on the load. Got a big claim up on the load. A big 
claim up on the loved. Yeah, is that so? Hey, you mind if I sit down? Oh, sit down. Thank you. <coughs> See, that's an interesting type of chest you got there, mister. It wouldn't be for sale, would it? No, it wouldn't. Well, maybe that depends on who's buying it. How tall are you, son? Tall? Yeah. I talk to you. Yeah. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Competition gets you, don't it? For a man that almost got himself shot to death this morning, you're either a fool or stone blind. Or both. You think it was them, huh? Don't you trust nobody, Rem. Now, look. You offer your girl to that hard case, and I'll break you in half with my own hands, and I mean it. Well, now, listen, John. There's nothing to listen. She's an old maid. You can't deny that. And I'm her pa. Does it make any difference to you that she just heard you? Do you good. Face up the things. Uh, the coffee, sir? Well, thanks. Don't mind if I do. See, that's a mighty nice looking daughter you got there. That's a fact, ain't it? Felicity means, Johnny? Happiness. Well, we had a short crop this year. I get so tired of living like this. How old are you, Felicity? You know what a poet says hope is? He says, hope is a child. Well, I'm not a child anymore, Johnny. I'm 25 going on 26. That's old out here. Pa's right, really. Oh, you should hear him talk. How I'm gonna have a satin dress and a white veil and the organ's gonna play. Oh, my, oh, my. Well, maybe I'm not pretty like some girls, Johnny. I don't have any... Silky dresses or fancy shoes. But even if I did, who's gonna love me with a, a nasty old man running around acting like I ain't worth 50 cents? Felicity, you know the right man isn't gonna care about silk dresses or fancy shoes or a dowry. Well, how am I gonna be sure? Felicity, you understand I can't marry. Oh, it's not because you're not pretty, because you are. Thank you, Johnny. A lot of things I gotta do and see before I get tied up to one person. But look, I ain't asking you to marry me. I don't even know you. I got my pride too, mister. I'm sorry. It just... It just gets so lonesome here. Gets lonely for me, too. For you, too. Johnny, could... Could you...
It's been such a long time since gentle lips touched me. Kitty heart. What's wrong? It's a key to the hope chest. You didn't know that, did you, Johnny? Money's getting to you, huh, Reb? Felicity. That's true, ain't it? Why don't you try having faith in someone just once? You interfere with my daughter for pleasure, Reb. I'll have to shoot you down in cold blood, I reckon. I'm not interested in your daughter, Mr. Bowman. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 wait, John, no, wait, John. You're still first choice. Now, that Mr. Burke over there, he don't have nearly the character of you. He's a drinker. Now, the way I see it, we can get a preacher in Bannock in the morning, and I'll take me off to old Mix and one of them dark-haired seniorias. What makes you think we'll live till morning? Huh? We'll live all right. I'm keeping my eyes on all of you. Well, no offense intended, of course. Thanks. <laughs> What are you doing, Mr. Bum? Like I said, I'm taking no chances on any of you. Why don't you go back and go to bed? Come on, leave me be. It's my money. Now I gotta dig a new hole. Go away. Drop it, Reb. Gun belt two, over there. That little lady, suppose you give me that key. It's all we got. Now you stay back, mister. The key. Wait, now listen. <laughs> What did you do with the money? I spent it. You spent it? <laughs> no, no. You, you don't understand. No, I don't. I don't understand what kind of a man would treat his daughter like you have, without dignity or respect or love. I'm ashamed to know you, Mr. Bowman. I just hope now you leave your daughter alone. 
Yes, I reckon I will. I gotta tell you, Felicity, I can't keep it to myself no more. When I was in that hospital last spring, they said to me, Ulysses, that's the Lord God up there. And he's staring you straight in the face. So you better settle things up, old man. And that's a fact. I, I looked around and there wasn't nothing to settle Felicity, except in you. And for the first time in my life, I was scared. I was scared to leave you alone. That's why I tried so hard to find the right man. Yeah, but there just wasn't time. And I was selfish enough to want to force it to happen. Because I loved you. That diary was your future, Felicity. How could you spend it? I knew how much that hope chest meant to you. That's why I didn't tell you. Listen to me, Pa. That wasn't a charity hospital like you thought. You were all that matters to me. Hey, Reb, ain't that something? Ain't that something? Yeah, that's something. Uh... Hi, right, Johnny. Mr. Bowman. I'm hereby authorized by the sheriff of Bannock to give you a reward for the capture of two mean, ornery desperados. Eighty-five dollars. How about that? <laughs> well, now, that seems like an awful piddling amount. Can't buy much of a farm for that. <laughs> but it's a start, I guess. Farm? Mm -hmm. We're going away, Johnny. Yeah. We're moving into town. No place for a girl out here, Johnny. Now, you know that. You better take care. I ain't meeting my maker yet, son. And that's a fact. Goodbye, Johnny. Goodbye. Maybe, maybe you'll be in Bannock in the spring. Maybe I will. You, you made me feel like a beautiful woman, Johnny. Well, it's because you are. If he figured that he had been pushed enough, the rebel. John Yuma! This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Oh, 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 o